So now we're going to do a step counter mm -hmm. for this shoe. Mm -hmm. And we are going to use the micro bit and we're going to code it so that it counts the amount of steps yep. that we go. Well, so we need something that sort of changes. Yeah, we need something that keeps track on how many steps we, we take. And to do this, we're going to use something that's called uh, variables. And if we're going to walk through the variables mm -hmm. and how this works, um, we could think about the variable as something that contains the value uh, that counts things up or down or, or mm -hmm. anywhere. Uh, so let's call this variable something. Let's yeah. call it a step. Steps. 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 So <coughs> in this case, we call it steps. And if we have several variables in a program, then uh, obviously we would call them different things. Yeah. And when we create this variable, we start it with the value 0. So we haven't walked any steps yet. Exactly. Uh, we start the variable at 0. And when I walk a step, yeah. then the value will change. Within the variable. Yeah. So if I take another step, mm -hmm. then we increase it again and it becomes 2. This is a very tedious way yeah. <laughs> of making a step counter. So let's uh, code this instead yeah. and see where we end up. So to start out with, we need this variable. Mm -hmm. Let's make it in our coding editor here. And in code the microbit.com, there is a category for variables. So if we open that up, we can take a variable mm -hmm. and we uh, drag it out into the field here. And we need to give it the name. And we'll call it steps. Yeah. Rename value steps. This name is just for us so that we know what, what this thing represents for us. So the first thing we want to do is to have the variable start at zero. Exactly. So I think we found that in the same category mm -hmm. uh, with set item. And in this case, we need to change it. Yeah. Yeah. Because we want to set our new vari variable to zero. So we choose steps. So now we have the variable and it's at zero, but we want it to change mm -hmm. for every step exactly. we take. Mm -hmm. And this movement, we could use the shake command. Yeah. So for this, we're going into input, and there we find on shake, so that every time the microbit shakes, something will happen. And what is it we want to happen? Uh, make happen? We want to increase our value that we have inside our variable. So we drag out change item. We want to change steps instead. And we want to put it to steps by one. Yeah. So every time we take the step, it increases by one. Exactly. Now, we also need to show this variable so that we know that things change on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that it's in basic. Isn't that so? Yeah. And there we find show number. And I drag that out and put it underneath here. Mm -hmm. Now, we will only show the number zero, so I guess I need to take the variable and put it there instead of the zero. Precisely. So let's try this out and see how it works. If I shake the micro bit once, I get a one and twice, and it starts counting Very for good. every step. Now, I think I would like to have a kind of reset button. Mm -hmm. So how would I do that? Well, what should the button do? It should change or sort of put uh, reset it so that it always is at zero when okay. I start it. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, in the same categories where we found shake, this category called input, we also find uh, a block uh, that executes, that happens when we press a button. And we choose the button A in this case. And then I would want to set the variable to zero mm -hmm. when I press a. So yeah. I go to variables and use the set command and put it there. And I change from item to steps. Mm -hmm. And I want to show that as well. Yeah. So then I take and go up to the basic and I drag this down and I take a new variable unit of steps and I put it there instead of the zero, just as we did previously. Yeah. So now it should work. 
seems quite correct. But uh, there's something we can see here in this program is that we're doing the same thing twice. Oh, you're thinking about the show number of steps. I exactly. put that first there and then. Yeah, both in the shake and in the uh, when we press the button. So you're thinking we could do this in a more efficient manner? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, because showing the number is something we want uh, to happen all the time. So we could just as well have it in a forever loop instead. And forever loops, I think, are found in basic. Mm -hmm. So I take the forever loop, I drag it out. Yeah. And I can take one of these show number of steps and put it inside of it. Yeah. And then I guess I could throw away the other one. Exactly. We don't need the other one anymore. So and now we have yeah three functions. And it's a lot more clear what is going on in your program. Uh, so let's try it out in the simulator. I shake, and it starts counting up. Mm -hmm. And, and I press the a. reset button, A, and it goes to zero. Very yeah. good. So let's download it and put it in the micro bit and see how this pans out. Connect the USB cable and open Finder in the computer and drag out the hex file and put it on the micro bit and it should see it's blinking, receiving the file. And in just a moment, there, there I think. Now, uh, it's a bit hard to uh, uh, walk with the computer connected. Yeah, exactly. So we're taking away the cable, but we still need power. So in this case, we choose to uh, use a battery pack, which we plug in on the back side here. Like that. Program is running. Attach it to the shoe. When we take a step, it counts up to one, two. And we can try the reset button as well. And it's back to zero again. Now we have a uh, step counter for the shoe. Hmm? And uh, by uh, doing in this specific way, we have used uh, variables as a way to store information and express it uh, as it changes over time. Uh, so this is a simple way to make a step counter and understand a bit about variables. Mm -hmm.